Oh, you know, oh, I ain't try to make it dramatic. Was it? I just couldn't find no hat, uh, so I oh, grabbed okay. My jacket was too big to get out the bag fast. That's what it was. Right. Yeah, and I was up there shaking. So, uh, but you know, it was uh, it was a great feeling. You know, I stayed with my word, stuck with my word. I found out you know was the best school for me through the whole process. So you know, I just signed that letter, and that's it. You visited a lot of places though. Like, why why the Canes? Why why was that better than anybody else? Uh, cause you know, uh, I've been down, I've been in Miami my whole life, but you know, uh, Coral Gables is a different place. And Miami, you know, if football go away, I know I still have my academics and music from a great school. So you know, and that three year, three four year plan is not promised. So I hope a lot of athletes think about that. It's not promised to everybody. So you know, I just I just thought about that a lot. Playing with Demetrius at, at UM, I mean, talk about that and just how far he's come because I know you know his football background. He had to build it little by little, and in a short amount of time, become the way he is. Oh, you know, uh, we talk. You know, we talk. Uh, Demetrius, man, that, is, that is like my brother. So he could probably be my, my blood brother. Uh, you know, uh, he started in the spring, a little quick season. You know, basketball. He had a lot of people watching him in basketball because he's great at basketball. But you know, football, it was an easier way. And coaches made a promise to him, Coach Ice, and the promise came true, and he kept his promise. And you know, you see where he signed at right now. So. Uh, it's just great because both of us going to the same school, same position. So, you know, if he on the other side, we're going to get his work. How about, you know, when you see other guys, you know, Nigel, Texas Tech, Treon going to Florida. When you just look around the room, you see all your teammates that went through the journey with you. How proud does that make you feel? Oh, it made me proud because we started at 10th grade, and, you know, and they ain't immature, but, you know, we, we were young guys. We played a lot. And I finally see today we made the best decision for us, not what everybody was like, oh, go here, go there, and all this. You know, there's a bunch of people in my head. Go to Florida State. They produce the best D-line. Go to Bama, you got a chance to win a uh, Natty or something. Mm -hmm. you, know, uh, you know, a lot of people was in our ear, but I see everybody on the stage pick the school that was best for them, best for their ability. Congratulations, Chad. Yes, sir. Happy for you.